G'day, welcome back. Now for those that have seen some of my previous videos, I'm just sharing some experiences I've had uh, with this car. Um, I've owned it for now about, about four months and uh, we brought it as a family fun car, it's a spare car for us. Uh, and we absolutely love it. I think it's a fabulous wee car. Um, it's got a few problems that I've fixed all around the car and this these set of videos is just about uh, sharing these, um, these little fixes. Um, with everyone out there, um, and this one's a, this one I think is quite a good one because um, I know a lot of people strike this and they really don't know how to fix it or get into it. So this is about how to get in, into the boot when you have been locked out. Now when I say lock out, is um, I had the problem where I went to operate my roof one day and it stopped part way through the operation. Um, I then um, needed to try and diagnose the fault. So the first thing you've got to do is try and open your boot. So you go around to the back of your boot, try and open it, and it's locked because the two C-locks at the top of the boot lid here during that first phase of the roof operation will lock. Regardless of whether you can get into the back of the car and pull your emergency boot release, it won't work because the locks are, uh, are in place. I've come up with a solution, and this takes me all of five minutes to get into the boot now. Um, there is going to be another separate video I'm going to do on top of this, uh, to add a little modification to the C-locks on the top of the, the boot lid there uh, so that if your roof does fail in the future or my roof does fail I can quickly just release them very easily um, so that's another video on top of that so watch out for that one so let's get into it and I'll show you through it okay so um, to try and explain a little bit better uh, you know the boot first and I'll go through a few things um, the first problem you will have is there's obviously limited space in your boot. You've got a tiny wee ski hatch, you've got to try and get through here. Uh, you've got to move the, the cover here out of the way. Um, you've got to get at least two sea locks. There's one on either side. So the first phase of a roof operation, it will close these sea locks and lock your boot lid shut. Regardless of whether your emergency boot release cable works or not, it's still, it'll release the latch, but it won't release these here. So you need to undo these. Good thing is that um, these covers here just pop off, they're really easy to get off. So if you've got a small person, a child, and they're able to fit through the ski hatch, that'll solve your problem straight away if you can show them what to do. So they just pull those covers off and these are just spring loaded. Um, but if you haven't got access to a, a child or a small person in order to get close enough to here, what you've got to do is um, work out a way of getting to these latches and pulling them open. Okay, what I found uh, worked really well was uh, I took a fishing rod, one of the two-piece ones, I took the end off it, um, and that gives me the reach I needed in the boot and the flexibility. Um, the other part of what I used was uh, I found some bell wire and two strands up here, and it's solid core, and I just run the two strands together, and I put a loop in the end. Now, solid core is important so that you can bend it, and it'll stay in the shape that you want it. Um, and then what I did was feed it down the end of the fishing rod and uh, then it gives me the reach and the wee hook on the end so I can hook the, the sea lock. Let's jump in the boat and show you. Okay, so we're ready to go fishing, and obviously I've, I've prepared this a little bit, and for the purposes of trying to show you the video, um, I've currently got the boot open, uh, but one of the big problems you'll have is the rear um, divider that sits in here. Now you've got to try and work that off both the hinges up here, and pull it sideways. Very difficult to show you on a video on how I did that, but it's um, it was quite tricky, and it's a tight space, but you've just got to sort of swing it around in your within your enclosed boot and put it over to one side as much as you can so you can reach over into the corner and see what you're trying to do. But as you can see, I'm not the smallest person in the world, but I can, uh, if I squeeze myself around a little bit, there's enough room there to, for me to stick my head through and one arm. And that's enough using a fishing rod in, like I am here now, to reach over to where I need to be. And line of sights, um, only just able to do it. As I say, if you've got the V6 one, you've got two batteries sitting here, so I'm not sure how that's going to work with the V6 one, but um, um, that's not the problem I had. So, anyway, let's give this a go from here. The 
the first thing you got to do, and I've prepped this a little bit, is pull the cover off. And then you've got to feed your guana over the hook somehow. This is where it gets tricky and you've got to fashion and shape the wire a little bit so that it goes over the top. So there's a wee bit of work to manipulate that. Curve your wire and that's why you're using a solid core to try and get over it. As I say, if you've got a small child you can get, get through the ski hatch then you're, you're part way there. But this is still pretty quick. There you go. So I'm, I'm across the top of that now. And as long as you keep it taut, I'm going to remove the uh, the fishing rod. Because that just gets in the way now. If I get far enough in, I can get my arm and pull it around. Like that. And there you go. That's released. You do that with both sides. Then you just pull the boot release. Okay, so uh, the boot's open now, but I just want to demonstrate how easy these are. So these are just, um, once this is in the closed position, uh, they're very easy to push back. So as I say, if you've got a small child, they can actually get their fingers in here and push that back. But the beauty of using this wire, and the thickness of this wire was just about perfect. When I rolled it over the top, um, and got it, and pulled it, that way so if I pull in that direction it's not going to fully open the C, C lock what you've actually got to do is roll it round and down so and this is where the thickness of the wire was perfect so when I rolled it round and down the wire actually ran I need to use a bit of force here the uh, wire actually runs between the bodywork and the C lock and it actually locked it in place as I rolled it round so that worked uh, it was quite beneficial hasn't having that wire so that held it in place as i say you've got to have both sides done and then you can operate your emergency boot release and then lift your bootlet open and it's really as simple as that and that didn't take long at all okay so that's it for this uh this video i'm sure that's going to be helpful for a lot of people out there um it'll save you a lot of money do it yourself because the dealers i know uh they don't have some magic fix for how to get into the boot um, quite often they scratch their heads as well and they're spending your money to try and fish around and it might be something else for them to get the boot open so it's certainly something you can do yourself so give it a go